Rabbit Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. And tonight, you know, we have a special guest here tonight. Now, her name is Carissa. I don't know if you remember, but her name is Carissa Clark. Well, it was used to be Carissa Clark. Well, professionally, Clark. it's Carissa Clark. Carissa Clark. Yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, she was one of my first hosts on my show. Mm -hmm. And then somehow she got, no, no, somehow. Then she, all of a sudden, she got married and got pregnant. I was just going to say, somehow she got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, my marbles are not working. <laughs> um, yeah, so she had to leave for a while. Then she moved to Mesquite Country out in Long Island. Oh come on! It's yes, all right. it's true. It's you know, true. It's all right. It's all right. She, yes. all right. she yeah. was living on where the Upper West Side at that time. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so Carissa and I go back a long time. We even did a movie together yeah. in the middle of the winter in a haunted house yeah. out in Long Island. Yeah, we did. And yeah. it was freezing. There was yeah. only one radiator in the whole house. It was cold. The, it was very, very eerie. Wow. And but. one radiator on the ground floor, and her and I, we had our feet underneath it. It was very cold. And our hands on top of it, mm -hmm. trying to warm up. We were hogging that radiator. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then uh, well, the movie was a nice one. It, it had... Um, it had, it had Cameron, some, uh, Cameron, the boy. Cameron, yeah. who's on Disney now. I don't know his members last Yeah. Name. I'm still in touch with him. Yeah. Cameron. Wow. He got so big you would never recognize him. I know. Him. Yeah, he's not a little boy anymore. Yeah, no more. That's amazing. I know. It's amazing how we just keep getting younger and they keep getting older. How does I that know. work? I don't know. I know. I don't know. I, know. I, I, think, I think it's the vodka. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Now I can't even, well, I won't even get into it, but I can't drink anymore. No. So I can't I don't really drink, drink either. Don't I worry about it. I can't smoke. Well, mm -hmm. I don't smoke anyway. Me either. It's 15 years now and I can't drink. Mm -hmm. So I told my doctor. Once you take care of what he has to take care of with me. You can have one drink like a, a martini. He said, a martini out of all drinks? That's all liquor. I said, okay, how about a vodka and cranberry? Um, what did he, he said, no. no. I said, right then, how about a, a half a bottle of ice cold Hannigan? And she said, well, it's a female doctor. I have a, a young, beautiful, Indian, light-skinned, beautiful <laughs> Indian doctor. And she said, no, not even that. She goes, I'll tell you what we could do. We'll split a diet soda. I said, no, you should know better than that. That stuff is poison. You know? Let's split if you a got diet. a diet soda, you might as well have a beer. You know I, mean, what yeah, I, mean? I want to have a bottle Dare I say, of it might actually be better for you. Because they told me sure. all at the last minute, you can't drink anymore. Yeah. I would like to grab a, 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 a shot or whatever to have a bottle and say, Salo, this is my, my last drink. <laughs> you know, then have it. You Many. know? And... Um, Right. But I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna do that, even though she said no more booze. But we won't get into. It. But I'm gonna an half a bottle of Hannigan ain't gonna kill me. Mm. You know, if all the shit that I did in my time, I'm telling you, it ain't half a bottle of Hannigan ain't gonna put me out. Right. You know, so that's number one. Right. Now number two, we have a fabulous guest here tonight. I'm excited. For my show. Yes. And um, this is a guy. That's in the same neighborhood where I live, mm -hmm. down in Little Italy. And uh, he has a, a, a place down there, and it's called uh, Ernest Rossi and Company. E. Rossi and Company. E. Rossi and Company? Named after my grandpa. Uh, e. Rossi and Company. I said his first name, Ernest. Ernie. Okay. That's even better. Ernest. Okay. And, Ernie. Um, and if you walk into his store, there are thousands upon thousands of items in this store. I mean like wooden that spoons really that my mother used to hit me on the head <laughs> and break break my head with wood. She used to break break the spoons over my head, you know, the wooden spoon. Then she since she got hip to that, she used to break about one or two a week. Then she then she got the metal spoon. <laughs> and first time she got the metal spoon, she gave me two stitches. She goes, oh. son of my bitch, when you go to the doctor, you tell him I do. When you come back, I do it again. <laughs> You know? Amazing how times have changed because there's no way that kids can ever be hit like that oh, nowadays. No. You've been in so much trouble. My mother used like, to. If, if any parent sends their kid with two inch, you know, a two inch, uh, two sets of stitches, oh, whatever man. it is. And just... the wooden spoons that he has, yeah. they start off this small, 
that small and huge. <laughs> huge ones, yeah. That's for like the big, the big, big huge right, party. Right. Uh, and um, yeah. uh, espresso coffee machines and uh, little espresso cups for Anisette and espresso and uh, uh, saints and you name it. And he has it. And um, oh God, you know, but, and if you want anything, it's, first of all, there's no way if they have, first of all, he used to be on the very corner of Marbury mm -hmm. and uh, Grand. Mm. And his rent was pretty reasonable because he's been there for a while. Then you get this landlord came in, and should I mention how much you were paying back then? <laughs> back then wasn't much. Yeah or no? Yeah, you can, you can. Uh, he was paying like $4,000 a month. Yeah. Okay. Then this guy comes in. Well... And he bought the building and he uh -oh. raised it a little bit okay. to twenty five thousand a month. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me! Well, the whole well area let's put it this changed. way. Yeah. He's not paying. He moved down one store. Just one door. That guy's no longer around. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he went on vacation. Well, it was nice. It was nice enough they, that they they let me stay there and uh, we were able to work something out. Yeah, but that's still the same there. building that you're same in. Same right? building. Same building. Same owners. So it was nice enough that you know we were able to well, work something out. Well, you're a staple out. there. You've been there for a while. You're part yeah, well, of we, the we culture there. We established 1910. Wow. 1910. Yeah. I mean, it, it just wouldn't be right. I feel like it's not ethical to have someone like that move. Well, but I understand that's not business and that's not money. But still. Well, we're going to talk about that when we get him sitting mm -hmm. down. Right. I know it's so exciting. In the meantime, so it raises it from four thousand to twenty-five thousand. That's 000. bonkers. Are these people nuts or what? Well, that's the, the whole area. Let's put it this way. Somehow, I don't know what happened, but he had like a change of mind, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, they moved him next door, and I don't know, still paying around the same. But that's another story. But in his store, yes. he's got all these like a little Italian things, like the horns. <laughs> and in Italian, they call them the maloikis. That's a maloiki. That's uh, the, they give you the, the evil horns, eye. You know? And then this is the Italian horn. <laughs> That's to bring I, I you good. That's the, for good fortune and fertility. Oh, okay. Fertility and good fortune. <laughs> fertility, fertility and good fortune, Vin. Oh man. Do you need fertility? <laughs> I need a lot of things. Uh, then you get this one. That's uh, the hunchback. There's just the hunch. Oh yeah, the hunchback. An Italian is called With the one coming out on the bottom. Yeah. But I like this one. He's, this is um, also a hunchback it's, with the horns. Yeah. It's with all the Maloikis and the horn. All three of them. And I'm going to change that one to the one I got now. I have a, a keychain. <laughs> oh, no. Is it in the dressing so room? These are all the sugars that I sold from a restaurant. I got them all <laughs> in my pocket. Because he's cut off. Every, so. time, every time I go into a restaurant, if they got Splendors, I take them all. Oh, gosh. I, Vinny. Yeah. So I have this one. Okay. Which and one is which one do you have? It's with the taxi cab. Oh, oh that's, nice. that's cute. So I'm going to take taxi. that one off, and I'm going to put this one on there. Okay. And uh, yeah, like that. So All right. right. Somebody bothers me. You're like this. You like that? <laughs> Give the horns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway. what, okay. I have a silly question then. What do the horns really mean? I don't really know. It's a, it's a bull's horn. Yeah. <laughs> And it's a sign of good good fortune. So you would buy one and give it to someone as a sign of good luck. Okay. Uh, it's it's all folklore. Okay. Similar to like giving somebody a rabbit's foot. Okay. To bring right. them good fortune. I'll take some good fortune. Hey, Vinny, we need some good fortune. <laughs> all right, good. That's oh, good. Well, maybe so we're all good. Could yeah, I ever? Yeah. Could I ever? Yeah. I but know. then we're going to talk more about this okay. in a little while. All right. But you know what? I mean, there's so many. There's so much I'm going to talk about. Okay. With him. But I'm going to wait until he comes and sits down next to us. Okay. And uh, then we'll get into all the rest of this stuff that's here. All righty. But when you go into his store. Yes. He doesn't get out of that seat for nothing. <laughs> you know, if you want something, find, this is it'll, true, it'll huh? go like this. Here, find it. Tell me when you find it. <laughs> is this true? Is he it's true. He's telling you the truth. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because Vinny does tell good stories, but uh, that's He's telling you the truth. Millions that's the way and Vinny millions of it. items. Right He's, there. Yeah. If they ever told him to get out of there, he oh would be there for another two years just packing his stuff. Say that's, that again. That's and he funny. would need about seven guys to help him. I said, Me Meantime, I want to hear him sing. Okay. Because when you go into his, store, yeah. into his store, if you're looking for something or not, okay. you just say hello to him. Picks up the guitar and he starts to play. Oh, cool. <laughs> he doesn't care who's in the store, what they're doing, what they're touching. 
And if anybody did shoplift, he would never know because there, there's <laughs> millions and millions of items. Right. But that's another story. Please give him a nice hand. Oh, thank you. Thank you. E. Thank Rossi. you. All thank right. you. All right. Thank you. I'm going to sing you a song uh, called Could She Cook? <laughs> Ready? Here we go. I just met her. She's tall and beautiful. She talks wood a wiggle. She cooks wood a giggle. She got a pair of buns to match. A pair of hooters that are well stacked. Well, she likes to rock and roll. She gets down with a little soul. Well, she looks like an angel. Makes love like the devil. But there's one thing I gotta know. Could she cook? Could she clean? Could she make the bed and wash the dishes too? Could she cook? Could she clean? Could she bake a cake and top it with whipped cream? I've just met a girl. She's tall and beautiful. She likes to wear her bling, but not a wedding ring. She wears a blue jean so, so tight. High heels make her look so dynamite. She's always at the gym. Well, she looks like a lady. Oh, God, she's driving me crazy. But there's one thing I got to know. Could she cook? Could she clean? Could she make the bed and wash the dishes, too? Could she cook? Could she clean? Could she make the bed and wash the dishes, too? Could she bake a cake and chop it? With whipped cream. Love you, baby. What's for dinner? I guess it's reservations. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Uh, should this be a little higher? Is this too That's low? Fun. Should this be higher? Sounded great. It's okay. You all sounded right. great. Sounded great. I'm going to sing you a song I wrote for my wife. It's called Far l'amore con te. It's to, to make love with you. And uh, so she inspired me. I wrote this song, and I hope you like it. And this is for you, Margaret. Far l'amore con te, you're all I dream of. Far l'amore con te, your love is all I need. Far l'amore con te. Amore con te, oh how I long for you. Far l'amore con te, come close, my darling. Far l'amore con te, your love is all I need. Far l'amore con te, I'm so lost without you. Amore con te, my heart belongs to you. The touch of your hand, your sweet tender kiss, one look in your eye, I just can't resist your soft, subtle smile, the love that you bring. Far l'amore con te, come close, my darling. Far l'amore con te, your love is all I need. Far l'amore con te, I'm so lost without you. Far l'amore con te, my heart belongs to you. Amore con te, I'll always, always love you. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, let me come over. Oh, here we go. Whoops. Watch out. A little.
Welcome, welcome. There you go. Take your time. Take Have your time. Have a seat. That was wonderful. Oh, thank so you very many much. questions. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you thank officially. You. Thank, you. thank you. Carissa, Carissa was my one of my I think my first host that I had on my on my show. One of them. I was his co-host for about three years. Uh -huh. Maybe even four for three or four years. Right. Three years ago. Wow. And my hair was like black. And what? My black hair was dark, black. dark black, I dark brown, remember. and it was long. Remember. That's all right. So I look very different. Huh? I did this for a while with him. Yeah. Wow. That's fun. Well, it's great to be on this show. Yeah, so welcome. Oh, that's yeah, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank that's you. Great. Right. all the time in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Well, like yeah. I said, my neighborhood right now is the third highest zip code yeah. in the United yeah, yeah, I States. I believe so, yeah. Is it really? What, for you tourists? Know, I, is that what, is I, what I, you're no. talking about? Third highest? What do you mean? As far as uh, real estate value. Yeah, oh, real estate. Oh, I thought you meant, yeah. okay. he's, he's in Nolita, north of Little Italy. Mm -hmm. Nolita. Yeah. You know, it's funny because <laughs> it was about... What? About seven, eight years ago, somebody came over to me and said, you know where no leader is? I said, I don't know. I don't know. What the, I'd never heard no leader. <laughs> well, then if you go above Houston and you're, Houston, you're in NoHo. Right, right. I know NoHo, You go sure. to the left, you're in so SoHo. Right. Uh, you go yeah. down a little further in Tribeca. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Lots of neighborhoods. Names, no There's a lot of neighborhoods. I like New York the way it was. What? I like New York the way it was. Yeah. Which was how? Yeah. Well. That's totally different. That, well, you're like, ah. Like New York the way it was. When, when the Italians have... dominated the area, the neighborhood. Well, when New York, New York was like this. Mm -hmm. This photograph sure. is, um, that was photographed 1900 by the, that's, that. And that was uh, 1900. 1900. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's a picture. And this is, at the bottom of the picture is Bayard Street. Mm -hmm. Right. Looking north. Looking north on Mulberry. Looking north mm -hmm. on yeah. Mulberry. Right. So it's between Bayard and Canal. Correct, yeah, right between Bayard and Canal. Did you, fact, could you, you see, find me in there? <laughs> wait a while. Let me see. That little kid. Aww. See that little kid? There you go. That's oh, there you are, Vinny. That kid with the little chubby chin. That was only 116 <laughs> years ago. That's what I was going to say, Vinny. Oh, man. Maybe one of the oldest Americans. I think the oldest American just passed away at 116. I think yes. it was just on the news, right? Right, yeah, born yeah. that year, I guess. Yeah, born wow. that year. But uh, you can see there's 84 Mulberry uh, looking. You see, on 84 there it says to the right, 84, 84 Mulberry. Mulberry, yeah. Oh, yeah, right over there. Yeah. And then there's a store that has a German name on the side. This is the beers or beers on it. So I guess before the Italians, it was German. These glasses German were bought and in Italian. Europe. The lens were bought from a Chinese. I believe you, but I I'm not seeing with the I can't see with them, beers. I can't see without them. <laughs> Something's wrong with this beers, conversation. Right. I'm not sure, but I believe you. Wow. Right there on the side. Oh, there we go. I was wondering. Right yeah. over here, Vinny. Well, you found me. Right there. No, oh. the German. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hey, hey remember, you see? you're down that's here. It. You're down here. There I am. There, there I you am. are. Yeah. There I was. I, I was in a carriage, right? Yeah, that's true. We got to find a carriage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you're in the carriage. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, uh, yes, you, have you said the store yes. was in 1910? Is that what yeah. you said? Uh, uh, so, is my your grandfather, grandfather? My grandfather came from Naples, 1900. Mm hmm. And in 1910, he uh, opened up the, the, start, the store, mm -hmm. starting as a uh, selling newspapers and books. And then he got involved in publishing. Oh, wow. He was a, a music publisher of Neapolitan music from Naples. At that time, there were a lot of um, uh, songwriters from Naples that lived on Mulberry Street. Okay. And you were going into the Depression. I don't mean to interrupt, but yeah. you also used to sell tapes in that store too, right? Yeah, we sold uh, the music in that tapes, store. cassettes. Right, yeah. In fact, I still have a ton of cassettes Do and you really? tapes. Yeah. You don't get rid of nothing. No, That's I, why the store looks the way it does. It does, you're right. I have a ton right. of... Uh, I Probably have, has the same broom. I have to sweep <laughs> the front of the store with. I, no, I have a ton of old music. I have music sheets going back to 1900. Wow, wow. that's incredible. Yeah. And do you, do you sell them or you just no, collect I, them? No, I have it in a collection. Eventually, we need to do something yeah, with Yeah, sure. Them. Of course you could. You'd probably do uh, well with that. Uh, and uh, they had wanted me well, to... Well, if you ever decide to sell them, because I'd like to get some uh, um, Jimmy Roselli. Oh, Jimmy. J Jimmy. I have Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. We sell Jimmy. When you're looking to start selling some, uh, I want to pick up uh, you know, one or two uh, well, you, Jimmy Roselli's. You wow. like which song's your favorite, Malafemina? The what? Which is your favorite, famous, the most famous Jimmy Rosselli song you like? Well, there's a few of them. I like the one where he sings, uh, Dutte Madini Vajari oh, yeah. da Chiesa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, he did a lot of old ones. Prega Bidea Maron, yeah. 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 You know? Da, 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 yeah. Da, 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 that one da, da, and a few da, 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 others. Da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah, he did a lot of old Neapolitan he stuff. He played a guitar, I'll sing. I'm on a oh. joke now. Go, go. This is but, but, but Jimmy recorded a lot of stuff. I mean, Jimmy has 
so many albums in English and in Italian. I wish they would do the movie on him, but do the movie about his life. That yeah, would be well, great. I, I, uh, yeah, Jimmy Rosali was, I think it's somewhere along the line, years ago, I think he had some kind of a problem. Something happened, yeah. Am I right? Something happened. I don't, I don't want to exactly get into what, it, but, but I think it was somebody like somebody wanted him to sing somewhere. Probably, And he yeah. didn't go. And Something in that area. And then guess, they, yeah. Whatever. they yeah. boxed him out of a lot of places yeah. where he was able to, I don't want to get him. I have no idea. Yeah, it would be great to I, do a movie I on have Jimmy. I amnesia. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bad memory. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. A yeah. guy got stabbed in the back yeah. and literally joined the feast yeah. about 10, 15 years ago. And uh, it fell down. Anybody, says, Anybody see what happened? And uh, one of the guys said, yeah, somebody said he accidentally stabbed himself in the back about 10 times. The cop <laughs> looked at me and said, get the hell out of here. <laughs> you stabbed yourself in the back. You know? But that's another story. But in, my, in that neighborhood, they're, they're going like flies. Yeah. Everybody's dying, man. I gotta Aww. get the hell out of it. I gotta go back to Elizabeth Street. Aww. I don't like hanging out on Mulberry no more. You gotta go to Elizabeth Street. Yeah, everybody's old, and you know, I guess That's time's right. going by, and people are passing this, away. Um, yeah, uh, Jenny Esposito. Oh, yeah, Jen Esposito. Jen Esposito uh, is a singer, and and from what I understand, you wrote two songs for her. I wrote two songs that she sings on her. Uh, uh, let's That's a body album. The uh, Amore? Uh, di, uh, di mi amore, love me tonight. It love means me tell tonight. me love, love me tonight. And number 14 and... Uh, is far l'amore con te. Far l'amore con, con te, yeah. To make, far l'amore con te, to, to make uh. love with you. Uh. <laughs> to make love with you. <laughs> I love you. But, to um, make love with you. <laughs> yeah, I, that was a song I just sang. Yeah, 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 yeah that was great. Wow. And, uh, and then... I did, I, I did a, a, a short demo on that same song, Fata L'Amore Conte, and we put it into this CD. And this CD is, uh, has about 50 songs from Connie Francis to mm -hmm. Dean I Martin see that. To, a lot uh, of great, a lot of great yeah. songs. And uh, we end up squeezing my song in there. It's, uh, um, playing guitar for me uh, on this CD. Oh, so you're not. Guy. Okay, so I, you're not I'm just, guitar. I'm just singing, singing the vocal on yeah, this. Yeah, sure. Uh, the guitar is played by a guy named John LaBarbera, who's playing the guitar, the classical guitar. He's playing the mandolin, and they did a great job. It's a... Mandolin. Yeah. Is yeah. that how you used to pronounce it? Mandolin, yeah. It? Mandolin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever take any um, voice lessons, or is this just totally no, natural no, for no, you? No, no, I never took voice. I took do, uh, guitar lessons to play guitar. Sure. Uh, my, I had a cousin that was a professional guitarist. His name was also Ernie Rossi. Ernie. And uh, I was a young teenager, and mm -hmm. he lived out in Brooklyn. And my mother said, would you mind giving my son lessons? Mm -hmm. And uh, If I, my mother would have kept hitting me in the head with a spoon, I might have had a voice today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And actually, it was my mother that uh, asked him to give me lessons. Yeah. And was I, it easy for you? Natural? Or? Yeah, it wasn't that, yeah, it wasn't that mm -hmm. bad. He was teaching me how to play classical guitar. That's why... This, this guitar that I have here was a guitar that I, my father bought for me when I was a, back in 19, wait, 1964. Wow, I, really? I learned how to play guitar. Yeah, it says here, made by the Harmony, Harmony uh, Guitar so Company. Even the guitar oh, is worth money. Wow. Uh, well, it's a simple guitar. But how many songs? This is actually a nylon string guitar. I'm supposed to play it, you know, finger pick it to learn classical guitar. But I liked rock and roll, and I used to, I would use a pick. And that's why it sort of looks a little bit like Willie mm. Nelson's guitar. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So that it was but, the pick uh, that does it. Yeah, I put a pair of new strings on here uh -huh. this week to brighten up the sound. But it still plays pretty good. It blows my it mind does. when you can play guitar because you're, you know, you're obviously using both hands. I don't have any yeah. idea how to do it, but it's I'm fascinated I, by it. And I'm, I just play. Does it look harder than it is? It looks no, like. No, it's not hard. I, but I, I just play chords to accompany myself singing. Sure. I mean, uh, I don't play all those licks and all mm -hmm. those uh, When your wife gives you a hard solos. time, do you just start playing the guitar? And that kind of like mellows <laughs> well, around well, usually at night. Uh, See, with me, I if sneak, my wife gave me a hard time, I would have to break the guitar over her head. Because <laughs> oh, she wouldn't go for the music. <laughs> no. Usually at night, uh, I'm in the kitchen playing very quietly. Uh. And then I'll work on a new song, and then all of a sudden I hear a voice uh, <laughs> saying, oh, Ernie, you better change it. Uh, change the word. Uh, you're singing too slow, too fast. And so I get the comments. Uh, yeah, no, my wife, is. she's a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Yeah. But anyway. Hey, yeah. Marriage, we the, think those things. We don't necessarily act on it or something. You see the motion that he just <laughs> yes, made, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what that means? Back. The last song. We go back. Close us go. out, Ernie. So what should I sing? Oh, what do you want to sing? Should I sing you? I want something fast, slow, or? Whatever you want. 
Whatever you want. Whatever going to make you happy. All right. We'll I want to make song. this show is to make you happy. Uh, I'm going to do a song. I'll sing a song that I just finished writing. It's called. Uh, I'll sing it. You, Go ahead. you do any of them in Italian? No, I, I just basically I sing English. But you play in it. You play and I sing in Italian. All right. Look at me. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get back there. Okay. All right. Get back here. Oops. Let me get back here. Here I'm going. All righty. Okay. If I knew how to sing, maybe if I had a voice, I would sing to you. Oh, even you're though, the even best. Even you're married, I'd still sing That's to you. That's all right. We're, we're still besties. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> I took this one. It's a good one. This song is called I Love You More. Cara mia ti amo più. My love, my darling, I love you more. You said you love me for a million years. You said you'd always be there for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.